In the previous couple of videos, I've shown you how to add customers to QuickBooks Online and edit those customers. The natural thing now would be for me to show you how to record sales invoices for those customers, how to raise, create customer invoices, sales invoices on QuickBooks Online. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video though, simply because we need to add a product or service on QuickBooks to include on the invoice. QuickBooks Online requires a product or service to be on the software in order to raise the invoice. Let me demonstrate this to you. So if we go to a customer, Morgan Stanley, if I go to raise an invoice, on the invoice template here, there's a product service box. If there are no products or services, nothing can be entered in here. So the invoice can't then be raised. So we're going to look at products and services in this video. I'm going to keep things basic because it can be quite a complex module of QuickBooks Online and perhaps I'll go through the more complex features of it in a later video. So we just click on products and services to access the module. You can also access it through the drop down list here, products and services, it takes you to the same page. It doesn't matter how you access it. On this page, you can search for pro products and services in this search box. The list of products and services are showing here. It's very similar to all other modules on QuickBooks Online. We can change what columns show and don't show. We can download the list. We can also print it off, just like I've shown you with other lists on QuickBooks Online. Now, if you want to keep things very basic, you could just add a service or product to QuickBooks Online called Sales, and then just include that on all your invoices. So that keeps things very basic, very simple. If you want to keep track of sales by product, if you want to keep track of sales geographically, such as having Sales East, Sales North, Sales South, perhaps Sales London Office, Sales Paris Office, perhaps by Sales Rep, then you're going to need to create a product or service for each of those things. It really depends on how much information you want from QuickBooks Online. If you really want to drill down on the figures and be able to see where your sales are coming from, it's good to add products and services, multiple products and services on QuickBooks Online. If you simply do not care about those things, then just add a service called sales or a product called sales and use that. Now there are other ways to use this products and services module and that is for stock control. You can see there's some icons at the top here that show low stock and out of stock. You can use this module to track stock, to add stock to QuickBooks Online to see what's in low stock, out of stock. I'm not going to go through that in this series because I'm trying to keep things basic and keep the content applicable to the majority rather than the minority. So perhaps there'll be a series later on about stock control um, using QuickBooks Online. Now to add a product or service on QuickBooks Online, you simply just click new and fill in the details. So let's say this is a service. We have stock, non-stock, service, bundle, service. You just name the service. Let's say this is accounting services. There are other options that we can fill out, but we don't need to. If you are using QuickBooks for stock control, then there's an option to add an item or service code here if you want to. There's also an option to add a picture. So going back to this list, there is a picture that goes with each product or service. So if you have lots of products, say, on QuickBooks Online, you can have a photo of each of those products next to its name trying to keep things fancy and organized. So service, accounting services. You can categorize your products and services. You can have multiple categories. There are some categories here. You can add new categories by just clicking on the box here. But none of this is essential to fill out. You just need to name the product or service and that's it. You can add a description to the product or service, the sales price and the income account. 
these two boxes down here are for defaults. So if I put in $100, 100 pounds, 100 euros in the sales price, when we add accounting services to an invoice, it will come up with the price as 100 pounds, 100 dollars, 100 euros. That can be edited on the invoice, but it's a default, it can speed things up. So if you are providing accounting services and you're mostly going to be invoicing 100 pounds, 100 dollars at a time, then it makes sense to put that in the sales price. Obviously with products, that can come in very handy because you're likely to have a fixed price for each product and having that default can really speed up that invoice process. I hope I'm not going through this too quickly. Obviously there's the comment section below if you have any questions. Once a product or service has been added though, it will show in this list down here and it will show in the list categorized. So we have one category showing. If you have multiple categories, it will show by category in the list. Now I have gone through this far too quickly really, but most people will not be using the products and services module. As mentioned, I'll try and do a series later on about products and services. I do provide one-on-one -on -one QuickBooks online training. All details are on my website. So if you do want bespoke training, if you do want to really go into this nitty gritty and learn everything about QuickBooks Online, you can sign up to that mentor program. But let's carry on now. In the next video, we'll go through raising invoices for customers using QuickBooks Online.